Our first request this evening <clears throat> comes from 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 13. Hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. We're asking the Lord that he that we would hold fast the sound words we heard preached at the Refreshing Waters Renewal. Amen. It's always good to, to hear these things, but we don't want to be as one who sees himself in a glass and then turns away and forgets what manner of man he is. Yes. We don't want to let these words of salvation slip from us Amen. through neglect or our um, inattention. Jesus said, if if ye keep my commandment. Now, Brother Given, explain that to us. That keeping doesn't mean just doing the the external uh, particulars of that command. It means to hold it in your heart, Amen. to keep it, to treasure it, to to ruminate on it, to uh, allow that word to guide us in our understanding and in our deeds, to keep the word. Now, see, we've heard a lot of good words, Amen. words of life. And so we want to keep those words, not let them slip, but rather that they might increase more and more in our understanding and in our affections. So who'll lead us in that? That we would hold fast the sound words we heard preached at the renewal. Brother Jeremy. Sister Hannah, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble with my eyes that I just couldn't see you. Uh, Brother Enoch, Brother Larry. All right, thank you, brethren. Our next request is in Philippians chapter 1 and verse 9. Thank you. I told you. I'm sorry. Uh, <clears throat> Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. And our prayer is that the things we learned and received from the renewal, we would do, knowing the God of peace will be with us. Well, now, brethren, it was the Lord that, that gave those things to us. And he, he is faithful. He's faithful both in giving these words and he's faithful in uh, supplying the grace in order to take hold of them and to and to uh, remain in that truth so to speak the God of peace that peace is that the the peace that we have with God himself through Christ Jesus uh, this morning one of the brethren they were talking about that peace that, that we have, Brother James, I think it was, in his uh, meditation this morning, talking about the enmity being taken away. Well, that was, that was Jesus that took away that enmity. And now the God of peace is our God of peace. His peace is toward us and works in us. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So the... <clears throat> We want that that the things that, and we did learn something. Have you ever thought about that? Mm -hmm. While you're sitting there, you didn't just hear it. Yeah. You learned something with it. Yeah. Uh, it might not have been brand new, but you were enlarged by the hearing of Amen. the Word of God. Amen. You were um, fortified, yeah. made stronger in yes. the truth by what you heard. Amen. So we learned and so we want to not be forgetful hearers, but that these lessons would remain with us that God had given to us. And that this will, this will increase our pre peace with God because they conform us more to the image of his son. And that's where peace is, is in Christ Jesus. So who'll lead us in that request? Brother Ricky, Sister Vanita, Brother Aiden. All right. And then finally, brethren, Colossians chapter 1 and verse 23 says, If ye continue in the faith grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. 
And our final request this evening is that all the brethren would continue in faith and not be moved away from the hope of the gospel which we have heard. Amen. The hope of the gospel. Uh, Sister Nicole had an aspect of that in her her introduction this night that we we have a hope that extends beyond this world. Yeah. Amen. In a sense, we we're in the world, but we're living above the world too. In the world, but not of the world. We can, if if you can allow this, we can look down on our circumstances from a heavenly perspective. We can see them in a better light and see them for what they really are instead of what they might appear to be. When David went out to Goliath, he saw an uncircumcised Philistine that was defying the, the armies of God and reproaching the God of Israel. What the others saw was a giant. Yeah. Well, they were both true. I mean, we, did, we have circumstances of life. But they're not the giants that they can be to us if we look at them just from the earth perspective. We can see them in light of what God is doing instead of just what's happening to us. At any rate, <clears throat> we're praying that all the brethren would continue in faith and not be moved away from the hope. Now, if you have that hope, it'll make you strong in these other areas. If you have that hope, you're able to project yourself forward to a time when these things are going to pass away and you're going to receive the things that God has promised us in Christ. Amen. And it is through the gospel that we are apprised of these things. We know these things because that good news has come to us from a God who cannot lie and who will fulfill all his word. So who will lead us in that request? Okay, we've got Sister Leah, Sister Debbie, and Brother James. All right, Sister Rachel and Brother Aaron. All right, thank you so much, brethren. Uh, Sarah, Sister Sarah is going to come up and read the sermon text for Brother po uh, Tony that will be bringing the message this evening. And uh, Sister Emily, would you remember... Uh, Brother Tony, as he comes up. Thank you so much. Dear gracious 